guys, this is Boo Trampling Boom Beach. Welcome to another episode of Mission Impossible. This is going to be episode 3. It's totally awesome that you guys or the Boom Beach community is actually commenting the Mission Impossible videos. Totally, totally rocking awesome. So keep on commenting. I read every sentence you guys are typing. Um, Sometimes it gives me motivation to just make another video right away. I'm like, okay, I'm going to be trying that strategy. Um, there was a guy just uh, asking me, can you use warriors against a base? Um, yes, I'm going to be using warriors on this video, but I do have tanks and scorchers ready here. I'm just going to be trying that first before we try another combo. So this is the guy. He have like uh, 10 ice statues boosted up. That's really insane. Like fish and guacamole, guys. Look at it. Look at those ice statues. Just, just glowing. Um, <laughs> I never ever thought that this would be a series, guys. I never ever thought it was going to be serious because I thought, I really thought this, that I was going to be able to take down this base uh, within several tries. But I've been trying like, yeah, over 100 times now. And I've basically spent about 10,000 diamonds now on TJD3 YHA. And I'm still having some great fun, guys. Um, it's all about having fun when you're playing game and when I do get a challenge like this, when I'm meeting a base that is so hard, even the Team Rocket could not take this down, I'm just having some with some super fun guys. So okay, let's see how far we can get with the Scorchers and the tanks today. I do not believe I even can touch the HQ with this kind of troops. Even though this is an OP troop, Scorcher and tanks together are really, really, really strong together. And they are just getting blasted down guys. Blasted down. Look at those Scorcher. They are dropping so fast down on the HP. The boom cannons are doing tons of damage on those Scorcher. And same with the cannons. Cannons, the normal cannons are doing tons of damage on the cannons. It's almost one shot in the tanks and that is not fun. That is crazy. That is crazy guys. So the question is how long? How long is uh, TJ going to be boosting up his base? Because it must be a point where he actually runs out of power powder because he had like this base had been boosted up for like four or five days now non-stop guys all of the ice statues are boosted up and it's just crazy crazy i'm i'm guessing like 200 power powders have been spent into the ice statues on this base but it's really cool that some people are actually doing it it's really really awesome because it gives other people challenge it gives me a challenge and Yes, that is really, really awesome. So that was a failed scorcher and the tank basically just passed down. So, okay, I'm thinking like, I'm going to be trying once again. I'm actually going to be trying once again with the tanks and the scorcher because it might work, guys. It might work, but I'm going to be using the warriors very, very soon because it has been requested and I'm going to be using warriors. So let's take out the Scorcher and the tanks, and we're gonna be pumping down the cannon and the flames. The start there is actually not too pro, uh, not too uh, too messy. But when I get deeper into the base, when I'm getting close to the boom cannons, it's actually a uh, uh, ten times harder factor, guys. The factor of the hardness of the base, <laughs> the hardness. Never mind, guys. Anyways, when when I get deeper into the base. The boom cannons get activated and the boom cannons basically shoot my scorcher. I think I can like kind of like four shots from the boom cannons boosted up and then my scorchers are gone from the monkeys guys. It's gone from the monkeys. So okay, what's gonna be happening right now? So the scorcher, I'm losing my first first scorcher and, and it's gone guys and it's gone. I do not have chance with this setup at all. There's no chance at all. I I really wonder what kind of setup that can take bring down this base down to the earth or to the ground. I really do wonder. But I haven't tried warriors too much on this base because I didn't have any um I didn't have any belief that warriors will be able to take on this base. That is because the HP on the HQ is really really high and the damage from the machine guns is way too boosted up. That means my warriors can only survive for like one second and it's down. Uh, if we're talking about like four or three ice statues boosted up only or five, it should be doable with warriors, but it's like a base with 10 ice statues boosted up. So it's uh, it's another thing guys, but we're gonna be trying the warriors anyways. So let's bring the warriors into the landing craft and we're gonna be making, um, I'm thinking like uh, warriors and heavies, because that is actually 
the most powerful combo after the tanks and scorchers so we're gonna be checking out if this is possible okay we're gonna be making a uh, heavy on the last landing craft okay I do have like 476 diamonds left and the question is will I run out of diamonds that's the first almost one of the first time in history that I, I'm running out of diamonds I've been using so much diamonds now like 10k guys 10,000 on the base and it's getting getting super crazy but I'm not gonna be stopping I'm gonna be keeping on rocking I'm gonna be keeping the series active until I get this guy down so okay for the heavy tactic, I'm actually going to be taking out the heavies first uh, for them to absorb the boom mines and the mines because uh, boom mines and mines on the warrior is re really devastating. It's really dangerous. Um, if I do step on one boom mine on my warriors, I can basically lose like three or four warriors. Um, I was reading in a forum that uh, a boom mine only can hurt one unit, but it's that that's totally wrong. The boom mine can actually hurt. Uh, up to four units that is what I've been um, that is my opinion guys well not opinion that is what I've been seeing I've been losing like four warriors on, on a boom cannon that's because when the warriors are actually stacking up together and stepping the boom mine you're gonna be losing all of them so okay this is the first warrior attack and we're actually taking bringing the base down to almost 50% and that is a great thing that's the closest thing I've ever been so uh, yeah there we go. So actually 40% in the base. 40%. If the base was like 160,000 health, it would be doable, but this is like 200 and how much how much HP is it? Almost 300,000 HP on this uh, HQ. It's totally cr insane craziness, guys. So we're going to be trying another attack and I'm going to be using all warriors now. Um I do not think that this is going to be possible, but we're going to be trying that anyway. So I'm going to be repositioning my warriors onto the boom cannon. Not the boom cannon, but the cannon. I'm going to be stacking them up there so they basically run in a straight line. There we go. And I'm going to be moving over to the shock launcher. And I'm going to be, hopefully I do smoke correctly right now. I'm trying to conserve my smoke screen. Uh, so I'm trying to not to uh, overspend my, my uh, smoke screen on on uh, the run to the HQ so okay moving over to the flamethrower here and I'm getting hurt here and the flamethrower is burning me oh my daggers look at this guys I basically lost yeah 20 25 percent of my warriors already and I do smell here I'm gonna be losing right now because uh, I basically need all my warriors to bring down this HQ so I'm gonna be taking down this shock launcher let's see how far I can get by taking down the shock launcher first shocking all of the defensive buildings taking down the shock launcher uh, I'm not gonna be flaring to the HQ I'm gonna be making them to try taking down the flamethrower and machine gun and as you see here guys it's definitely a fail they barely did touch the flamethrower and the machine gun they were able to take down the shock launcher but not the machine gun and the flamethrower that is because the HP of the uh, defensive buildings are too much guys it's too much it's a lot so okay let's try another attack we're gonna be trying we're gonna be trying third attack here and uh, we're bringing a uh, heavy into uh, this attack so okay let's see what happens here I do think I'm gonna be flaring myself up to the flamethrower that is the wise that is I'm gonna be taking out the heavies as well let's take out the heavies and they are gonna be stepping on the boom mines because they're going to be uh, stepping the boom mines, the boom mines, <laughs> the boom mines. Okay, taking, out the war taking the warriors out and they are pretty much ready to run to the flamethrower. And I do get burned there, or burnt. Is it burnt or burned? I'm getting burned. My warriors are getting burned. And there's mines there. That is a huge problem. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Come on, warriors. I boosted your HP. You should be surviving this, bros. Okay. <clears throat> it's time to move over to the HQ and let's see what happens here. Okay, that was a major fail. I, oh my dangers. I'm I'm getting so frustrated, guys. I'm getting so frustrated, but it's actually cool. I'm I'm enjoying the frustration. I'm enjoying the frustration. Um I barely cannot I, I barely can find words on what to say here because uh I've been trying so much. Hundred attacks and I'm just failing and failing. I'm guessing like TJ are getting tons of diamonds for me attacking. I'm, I'm guessing he's been getting like thousand diamonds already. 
but we're gonna keep on going it's for you guys uh i definitely see that you guys are interested in uh seeing this beast to be taken down so i'm gonna be keeping on going i'm gonna be keeping on making videos i'm gonna be keeping up this series until i take down this base this player is gonna go down and uh, remember guys leave comment down below in the video because i'm reading them every day i'm reading tons of comments i'm reading like 90 percent of the comments i'm trying the best i can to read all the comments because the comments from you guys definitely give me motivation and the thumbs up are also giving me motivation there's tons of things that gives me motivation and if you want me to do more clash of clients just add it on the comments if you want me to do um other games just tell me but I'm gonna still gonna be I'm I'm still gonna be having the Boom Beach as a main game. It's gonna be like 80% Boom Beach and 20% is gonna be pretty much random. So I also made a second channel, guys. Come over to the check a second channel. The link is gonna be down below, and the name of the second channel is C O C General. It's Boot Tramp, and uh, basically what I'm gonna be doing there, I'm gonna be playing World Zombie Nation. I'm gonna be trying to reach rank one in World Zombie Nation. It's because it's a new game, and I do believe I will be able to. Do to reach uh, rank one in world zombie nation so uh, take a sneak peek or take a take a peek guys on the second channel coc general i would love to see all of you guys there because uh we're gonna be having some fun there so okay guys um that was basically it i i got the base to five percent and i need to close this video so i hope you guys enjoyed the video see you guys later and goodbye boom